I uh, forgive me. Like I was at home an hour and a half ago, so I was just trying to catch up on everything. You know what's been going on. I understand that this has been a long night. So, um, and I don't know who you are. I apologize. So you asking? Huh? Was it so you asking? No. Oh. But I mean, some other people know who you are. I follow football, but um, do you live? Where do you live? Hollywood, Florida. Hollywood, Florida? Uh, what's your exact address? 3101 South Ocean Drive, Hollywood, Florida. 33019. And a uh, best number for you to be reached at? How tall are you? Six three. How much you weigh? Three oh three. And uh you were staying in what room at the Renaissance? Eighteen thirty three. Work or pleasure or both? Work. Okay. Who do you work for? National Football League Network, NFL Network. As a announcer or analyst. analyst? So I'm going to read you something right now, and it's because you're here and uh, somebody has alleged that a crime has been committed, and if I speak to you without reading these, it would be violating your rights, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney to assist you prior to questioning and to be with you during questioning if you so desire. If you cannot afford an attorney, you have the right to have an attorney appointed for you prior to questioning. Do you understand each of these rights? Yes. Okay. Um, so, uh, I'll just repeat to you what's been told to me, and then you stop me wherever. Um, you met, uh, two young ladies in a bar at the hotel. They came back up to your room. They performed a dance for you. You gave them each $300. No dance. No dance. No dance. Okay. Just straight oral sex? Uh, the young lady, the one young lady was. Okay. Um, do you remember their names that they gave you? No names. Okay. And uh, the blowjob was performed with um, a condom? Yes, ma'am. Um, did the other girl do anything? No. Okay. And then at one point you asked for um, sex, at which she said no, and then you told her to leave? No. Okay. Well, so then let's let's rewind then, because yeah. these these are like there's like a million stories, so I'm just trying to get the truth. That's fine. Okay. So just right at the bar. Okay. Went up to the room. Uh huh. The young lady said they wanted to do something. I said, so so what is going to be, ladies? The one that's in there alleging whatever uh -huh. said two hundred. The one with the black hair said three apiece. I uh -huh. said, okay. Put the six hundred dollars on the table. Everybody got naked. They finished to do what we do. Uh huh. We're in the bed. They were there. I started taking pictures of the two ladies naked and, mm -hmm. you know, doing what they're doing. Not even laying on the bed with me. So I'm taking pictures, pulling the underwear, you know, just taking pictures. Cause mm -hmm. like, I'm silly like yeah. that sometimes. So the one girl was over the top of me and the other girl said, give me a con. So she ripped it off and started performing all sex mm -hmm. on me. So the other girl was up on top of me and she just kept talking, kept talking. I'm like, yo, why don't you use your mouth on me instead mm -hmm. of using it? Mm -hmm. So she's like, oh. So I'm like, just don't worry about it. Just, just go. Just, just, just move. I said, you girl doing a good job. Mm -hmm. I'll be done with her in a minute and, you know, go to the bar. So she's walking out. Mm -hmm. So the girl yells to her, don't leave. Just wait in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I said, that's fine. You can wait in the bathroom. So mm -hmm. she was giving me head. As long as she doesn't get in your way. Just just out of the way mm -hmm. so I can finish with what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Both you can leave. So I'm videotaping her performing on sex. Mm -hmm. So I put the phone down. Mm -hmm. I said, so why don't you just let me go hit that, you know, because... You know, we better do this. She's like, oh, you got to give me a, a tip. I'm sitting there thinking, you just asked for two. Your girl got three. Mm -hmm. I gave you both mm -hmm. three. She's in the room, ain't touched me. Got mm -hmm. $300. And the only thing you got to do is just get me off and leave. Mm -hmm. She's like, you got to uh, give me some uh, uh, some extra. So that's when I said, you know what, it's over. Mm -hmm. So I walked back that way, grabbed her stuff off the um, desk area. Mm -hmm. Throw it at the door. I said, come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. I said, let's just leave. So then she runs by and grabs my phone and calls security and was like, we need security up in Morris' room. I'm like, I'm like, I don't need security up in my room. You two ladies are 
leave us. Mm-hmm. Just that simple. Mm-hmm. So, put the phone down. I said, come on. So I'm at the door and I'm standing there and I'm like, just, oh, we'll put our clothes on while we put our clothes. I'm like, whatever, baby. I said, just leave. I said, you got something for nothing. Leave. Mm-hmm. So they're standing at the door. Oh, we'll leave in a minute. I'm a prostitute for five years. I'm up in your room. You're going to get in trouble. I'm like, baby, I haven't done anything to you. I'm just asking you to leave. Mm-hmm. So now they putting their clothes on. They get ready at the door. So then she pops up and she spits on me. I'm like, okay. And then a girl's like, no, that's that's wrong. You know, the other girl's pushing out the door now. Mm-hmm. So I'm moving out the door. My phone is in my hand. The other girl grabs my phone. So then I gotta go, I gotta go outside the door to get my phone back. Mm-hmm. So I go out the door. And I'm like, give me my phone. So she drops my phone. I get it off the floor. She's like, now you outside your room naked. And I was. I don't know how that door tripped that it was locked, but it didn't close on me. The deadbolt came out and it stopped. So I got back in my room, I closed the door, and that was the last time I I saw anything about it. And then the security was already on his way up from downstairs when she first called. And that's when the cops got my room. So that's the girl that with you like as far as yelling or no. and who called security the one that was performing okay. oral on me and, and what did you say to security we need security in one side for them okay that's what she said to them <laughs> like what so they were on their way up by the time I got them out the door mm-hmm. and they were they came and knocked on my door I said I asked them to leave because they were in my room la 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 woo, woo, woo. showed them the video the pictures mm-hmm. and she was telling them that I had raped them mm-hmm. and assaulted them I'm like mm-hmm. yeah Mm-hmm. So now they just perform the dance. Oh, that's unbelievable. So the two officers did what they did, and they said, you know, they took my statement. I showed them the, the money. I told them exactly what it was, and they were downstairs with him, and he came back up and said they left. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, so what do you want me to do? He's like, well, ain't nothing we can do. You know, they left, and we'll see you. So I was in my room sleeping, and more officers came back because I guess she went somewhere and found another cop to say that, these two officers didn't do their job. Mm-hmm. So I'm here with you. Okay. Um, she does have a mark on her arm, of a, like a hand mark. Did you at any time grab her? No. Okay. I'm telling you, her friend was grabbing her, taking her out the door. Okay. And she's fighting to get back in, and I'm trying to close the door. Uh-huh. And my phone is in my left hand. I saw she snatched my phone out of my hand. I didn't touch her. Uh-huh. I didn't touch her. Uh-huh. I did not touch that woman. Okay. At no time, no point. Okay. The only thing I touched was her clothing and her shoes. I kicked them to the door. I said, please just leave. Okay. Not one time. Her friend was grabbing her, trying to get her down the, out of the room because she spit on me. And I'm looking at her. And her friend, I said, and she started pushing in. Her friend is fighting through her to get through the door. That's why when they got back, the one cop's like, the one girl's back, but the other one's back. Not there. And I'm like, so why not? So I, I, I didn't do anything. I just asked me to leave my room. I didn't put my hands on nobody. Okay. Um, at any time did it transpire that you specifically asked for oral for the $300, or was it just assumed between everybody that um, you were going to give them money in exchange for some kind of sex act? Oh, yeah, they were going to blow, they were going to give me head and, and, and do it. Yeah. Then when I got the one chick out of it, the one chick, you know, died yeah. on something extra, I'm like, you know what, just leave. Yeah. And then it turned into a whole other situation. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Do you need anything else? Another bottle of water? Nah, that'll be another hour if that's the case. <laughs> Jeez. I ain't touching it. I don't know how I got nothing to do with me.
and look one more time, please. Okay, can you return to face me? Can I do hold your hands up just like that? I think it's the photographs of your hand. And do you have no, no scratches or anything like that? Oh, you can keep your watch on, that's fine. Hold on, I won't take any more. Come on, fat boy. No, no injuries, no nothing. Okay. That's all I need. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, sir. Can I make a phone call, my man? What's up? Can I make a phone call? Was there a, a female detective in here talking to you? What was her name? Let me go. Let me go find her, and I'll. Need your jewelry off. Get any other property on you. Where we got going? Well, you happen to be the fortunate one who showed up after we have a new policy in place. <laughs> that so tell says, me a new policy that says that says all Johns that solicit prostitution will be booked. Paid for a sex act. Well, I paid for company. She performed the ex sex act on me. So what that was saying? Well, it's it's going to be semantics. Yeah. So you gonna book me as a job? Unfortunately, yes. Ouch. Yeah. It's a misdemeanor. Ouch. Ouch. So. Um. Well, it'll be on a ticket. But obviously, our new policy is we can't just give you a ticket and let you appear. We have to book you into jail. Do I got a bond out? You will see a judge, and they will issue you a bond. So you telling me I'm about to be in jail for overnight? Um, I don't know if it's going to be overnight. We might get you in time to get to the judge today. I don't think you're going to have to stay overnight. I think you'll be seeing a judge today. Okay. Nothing else on you? Nothing else on me, my man. I should be in charge with prostitution. Um, we'll leave it up to the hotel room to secure all your belongings. Let me call, let me call him back and tell him to go over there and get that for me. Okay. Slide it. I am on the slide and just hit call. Unbelievable. I am about to be booked and cooked and done. I am dead as a doorknob. I'm not even being said I assaulted. I'm just being rushed on the jaw. Um, there is the charge of assault. <laughs> and they touch us. Are you kidding me? Uh, what, how, do we, how do we get to this? The two officers was there in the spot. And it didn't... It should... There yeah. you go. And then one... Okay. So... I kept pushing it. I wouldn't send one call from it. Come on, detective, explain this one to me. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> two, two cops sitting right there in the middle of the thing. Come get me or bar me out when he, when they go. I'm talking to you, sir. Oh, um, yeah. 
As soon as you know a bond, they can I am bond about to be arrested for soliciting prostitution. I'm about to be arrested for soliciting prostitution. Go to the hotel and get my stuff, man, please. I'm about... No way. Go to the hotel, man, and then secure my stuff, man. So obviously, we have to put you in the jail. We would have just given you a citation, let you promise to appear, but the policy is you you go to jail. So you'll appear in jail. You'll see the judge. They may or may not give you a bond. Okay. Yes. We see no reason for you to be a flight risk, so I see no reason why you won't get a bond. Okay. Once you get a bond, post it. They'll give you a new court date. Okay? Yeah, I got you. Okay. You ready? Uh, give us a bit. We have a few <laughs> minutes. I mean, we have some paperwork we need to finish. Okay? Oh, my God. Okay. Phoenix! Let me look into that. 
Did you get names or anything on those names? Nelson and what the lady got their names of uh, Detective the blonde detective. Okay. She, she yelled their name and I was like, Why aren't they coming with me? Because they the one that took the statement in the beginning. All right, let me look into that. Please. Yeah. Because that, that's the only reason I showed what it was to kill the rape and the assault. I'm like, here she okay. is. All right, gotcha. All right, let me look into that. <gasps> what? All right. <laughs> well, just so you know, rape is not even on the table. Brother, that's what she told the the two officers that first did this. Okay. The one with the spot right here on his face. He's he, a white guy. He's got, he's got his pick of Harlan. And Nelson, I think their name was. Okay. But she definitely has their name because right. they let walk me, with me out the there and they split. And I'm like, why are they splitting? And why ain't he listening to her story again when she tell her? Because he heard the first one. Okay, gotcha. All right, let me check in. <gasps> Hang on now. <gasps> oh, my God. <sighs> That's the only reason I showed the tape. Oh my God. 
So baby don't leave me, my little girl might disown me after this one. Oh Jesus, she's seventeen. Come on, Sam. Oh Jesus Christ. Come on. Hello. Alright, so what I have here is this gentleman wants to do a buckle swab of your face because you said that she spit on you. And so I had to write a warrant to get her DNA and yours. Okay, so I'm presenting you with that uh -huh. as well as the item in your phone and the stuff in her phone and anything of evidence wise. So this is. Here you go. What, what time is it now? Do you have a time? Uh, 10.50. Okay. And so this is just going to be a receipt for the up buckle club I'm getting from you. And then when I go back to the hotel room, if I find her property in there or whatever in there, mm -hmm. if I take anything, then I will put it on a different page and leave that behind so you can have that with your stuff. Um, what is today? The second? Because, um, you know, obviously if she spit on you, do you want to press charges against her for that? No, I don't want any of this. I didn't do anything to do. Right, but I mean, else. sitting on someone's very, uh, you know, insulting. So. Uh, I don't know what this is. Well, someone. you made the claim, so th I wanted to make sure that I we serviced you as well. All right, so there's that copy of that, and you keep this. Actually, I can put it in your stuff. And then he's going to, how do you have to do this? Um, you can just sit there and I'll get it for you. He's just going to rub it on. You, you, you didn't wash your face or did you? Or? I went to sleep. I didn't wash okay. my face. Okay. Okay. Cool. Pretty much what I'll be doing, Mr. Sapp, is I'll be taking, uh, it's like a big Q-tip and I'll just swab. Um, do you remember where you got spit on at all? Or? Property. Right here. Okay. I'm going to swab that side of your face then, okay? Are you sure it's that side? Or do we want us to do it both right sides? Right here. Okay. Just that side. Okay. And then I'm also going to collect your buckle swab, which will be, I'll be just swabbing the inside your mouth. Oh. And that'll be his elimination since I'm still swabbing from you. So. I'm trying to figure out, you need my DNA off for her face. No. What are you uh, saying? No, I need, because if, if she spit on you, um, we'll obviously have your DNA on there. So I'm just going to swab your cheeks to get the elimination off that. I don't need my DNA in the system. I don't want it. I'm good. Right, this is the search warrant for us to get it. That's the what? To get what? Your DNA. Your I don't know. I don't, I mean, I don't it's, want it's it. It's one of those signed by a judge. It doesn't matter if you want it or not. <laughs> it's signed by a judge. Okay? The old, I told you why I'm doing it. I told you because... Well, because I, I wasn't the one person charges. Right. I, wasn't the, I, was just I still have to investigate it. She did do that to you. I just want to make sure that that is what happened. It goes I'm, towards I'm, credibility. I'm trying to figure out this $300 for sex act by me. Yes. I'm taking her money that you gave her. This okay. is both of you. I mean, obviously, this is one warrant, including both of you. I'm taking the money. Okay. I'm taking her DNA, but I have uh -huh. to get a warrant for that, too. Okay. I'm taking your DNA so that I can eliminate what happened with your face. If she did spit on you, I want to know. Uh -huh. As part of the investigation. Okay. You made that claim. You may change your uh -huh. mind at some point. Okay. I want to make sure I'm doing a full and complete uh -huh. investigation. That's why I'm doing this. So, what was the first report from those two officers? Those two officers are doing their report now. I haven't read their report. Okay. Get ready when you are, boss. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's one of those things where I came down here when you came down here, and then I've been dealing with her. But I'm waiting for their report. <laughs> oh, I'm dying to hear it. Okay. I'm dying to hear it, because that's where the contrast comes. I'm going to swap your okay. face first. And then, like, part right, right around here. All the way up and down my face, boss. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to try not to. It's like getting the crack my okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Did it, was it once or twice? Twice. Okay. And then you on the forehead at all, or? No, I'm just, just was right there. That crevice right there where you wiped is okay. where it was at. Yeah. I'll get there actually okay. for you. Uh-huh. Thank you. No problem.
is a good investment. Okay, I'm trying to figure out. But I'm also how trying to figure out if it's something. true that you got spit on oh, or not. Definitely. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm doing a full and complete investigation. We got that part. I'm trying to okay. figure out how am I being charged when they come to me and ask for my phone to disprove what she's told them. Well, like I said, I showed up way later. You that's know that. I, I came in I, I and I told love, you this is how this is going to go. That's what I'm saying. How yeah. is this go down this way? And I've been there from the beginning of the whole thing, yes. Genesis. And then the lady that sits in here tell me she was at home sleep, and I was like, I was too. You know, I me was too. <laughs> me too. I was too, and I was okay. So, I mean, how do we get two cops on the scene investigating? She leave the scene, go run, tell a cop that these two cops told her to leave, which is a oh. lie. Come back, and then they ask me for my phone it's, to disprove what she's saying. It's definitely not anything. And now I'm being charged. Yes. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to say no. I'm also not going to. I'm not going to argue. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to get the facts. Yeah, fine. Okay. Thank you. It's it's definitely not done yet. Obviously, I'm still working. I've been working this whole time. Okay. So I'm also trying to figure out and get to the bottom of the truth. Okay. And it goes towards credibility. Obviously, if I find that she did spit on you, then she's saying she didn't. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So like that's I why. Where is the other girl? Because you told me you had I her. I found her. Yes. That's why I'm She's saying. in another room. I haven't now, talked to her yet. Did, did that lady say that's her about to speak? I haven't talked to her yet. Okay. Yeah, and, and that's what I'm saying. This is over. And then also she pushing her out the door. Okay. <laughs> don't tell her you. Okay. Nothing, well, I'm also getting me. video footage from the security and all kinds of stuff. It's just been in the work. We're, we're not done yet, but this is where we're at right now. Um, I want to see okay. video. Please. Well, I gotta go get it. They wouldn't give it to me without a warrant. So. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Do you want me? Do you want to hold on to that stuff, or do you want me to put it in your property? It's yours. I was gonna put it in your bag. I didn't know if you wanted to sit and look at it anymore. Okay. All right. Cool.